Hi, I'm Joe Armstrong, a principal attorney at Offutt Kerman. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce Brian Minichella of the Beacon Group of Companies. Aside from the traditional asset allocation where, very generally speaking, a advisor may build a portfolio that would consist of stocks and bonds. Um, the diversification there is that typically those two asset classes act inversely of each other. An example would be as stocks go up, bonds might go down, if, but not on a one-to-one -one basis. Typically if stocks go up 10%, bonds might go down 3 and vice versa. So that's the most basic sort of asset allocation is just typical different types of stocks, different types of bonds. We take that a couple of steps further. And I use an example that when I explain this, these strategies to prospective clients, um, I use an analogy um, that I like to call my New York City Fire Department theory. And that theory goes, when the New York City Fire Department sends trucks out to a fire, they typically will send five or six trucks and all of those trucks take a different route to get to that fire. Because New York City traffic is so unpredictable, the concern is one or two of those trucks might not make it to the fire. Well, we use that same type of philosophy in building portfolios for our clients. We want to have several different strategies that act differently in different market conditions so that when the client needs to access their assets, at least a couple of those trucks got to the fire. No, um, I, I think a lot of what we do was a byproduct of learning lessons from 2008 and back testing portfolios and strategies and then coming up with our own innovative approach. I have been fortunate enough to have been able to share several summers with my two oldest sons and now I have a younger son that I'm doing the same thing with uh, but we were fortunate in that they played at a very elite level 10-15 years ago when elite travel baseball wasn't what it is today and we traveled all over the country and I had the opportunities to meet, scout and talk to some of the highest level of talent uh, at the baseball amateur youth level and through those relationships and we were able to make connections with players that are now playing Major League Baseball. Um, probably a good example would be um, some of the teams that my sons played for actually hired batting instructors for Major League Baseball teams. So my son at 14 years old was being trained by the hitting instructor for at the then Florida Marlins. Um, we became close friends, myself and the batting instructor, and then he introduced me to several of the Florida Marlins players and ultimately one became a client and then from there um, just word of mouth and constant being around players, college coaches and agents um, we made some, some inroads.